enjoy that future item. <laughs> Guys, Master of here. Welcome back to Balloon Style Defense Battles. Today it is all about the monkey farmer and it's all about making as much money as we can. So we're on Bonanza here. Sadly, there's no Mega Bonanza or anything like that available, but we're gonna go on Bonanza. We're gonna use our monkey farmers. I've got four of them to use, or at least I think I've got four. I'm gonna double check. And we're gonna see how much money we can get uh, during a game. And obviously we don't really have to do anything because the farmer's gonna do it all himself. So yeah, we've got four farmers that you can see down there in the bottom. Uh, so I'm gonna bring with me, I'm gonna be super, super cheeky and just bring a super monkey. And what, what else should I bring? I don't know, maybe I should bring that and let's bring our apprentice. And so oh, I could do spikes. No, we don't want spikes. We don't want spikes. What are we? Okay, we're gonna bring a boomerang. So this is all about making money. So we're gonna be putting these down straight away and seeing what we can do, how much we can make uh, with this guy. So if I put this there, that's gonna be the first spot. Now the monkey farmers can kind of see a lot of stuff. So you can put one there and it gets like a massive, massive amount uh, of space. So we don't really need to worry about them. We've got the golden projectile still on. So our tanks are looking golden and beautiful, I must say. They are looking so, so good. Let's get another one up there. All right, there we go. We've got two of them going. I'm just gonna let my spikes kind of do their business for now. Can I put one on top of this? I can indeed, there we go. All right, we've got three right there and the monkey farmer can see them all, which is awesome. So that's really, really good for us there. Uh, I'm gonna get a boomerang. I'm just gonna sit a boomerang like there, I think. And then this guy's gonna go straight up to uh, a glaive lord. So he's just gonna spin around and nothing really is gonna get through him, which should be, should be pretty good. Okay. Uh, Let's upgrade these to more bananas, more bananas, more bananas. Now, he can see there, so if I put another banana plant down the bottom, sadly the monkey farmer's not gonna be able to see it, uh, but I, can I put them on the side here? So I can put them up the side here. So I'm gonna put one there, one there. I think I can get three up this side. Yeah, we can get three there, so we can't get another one there, but we can get them. My God, we can make so much money in this game by doing this. Okay, let's bring out a, uh, another banana monkey farmer. Or can you only have one monkey farmer? Oh, you can... No, oh, no, no, you can't have two. You can't have two. I don't know why it wasn't... It didn't seem to be loading it or it w wouldn't let me take it for some reason. Uh, okay, so Glade Ricochet, Sonic Boom, Red Hot Rangers. That should help us out quite a bit. Okay, now we should be making a lot of money. And we should be able to get the money really, really easily uh, thanks to our farming dudes of farming. Uh, anyway, more bananas, more bananas, more bananas. And I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna get myself Glaive Lord just so that we're safe Just so that we're safe and nothing's gonna worry us and now we can focus on getting our plantations up and running So obviously it doesn't make a huge difference because you're gonna collect them anyway But sometimes you did forget to collect stuff uh, and when you do forget to collect stuff, it is so so annoying uh, I might just send this guy loads of pinks as well when pinks come out just to scare him um, And because they'll probably get past his apprentice I would have thought, but the good thing about having um, the Glaive Lord sat there is he sees camos uh, because obviously they just spin anyway. He can destroy leads for the, for a good like 20 rounds. He's pretty solid uh, as, as a contender of like best monkeys. So we're just going to leave him there. Get all our banana plantations up and running. And the best thing is these farmers don't cost a dime. They cost you 100 medallions, but it's really easy to make 100 medallions. Uh, and they just make so much money, which is so, so good. Uh, and you don't need to get long life bananas. So you don't need to get long life bananas, but you do get long life bananas if you want to obviously get the more expensive bananas, which you will want to do. So we will be getting that eventually. Uh, but let's just keep this going. Look at this, the bananas just flying around as the farmers are chewing them up. So he's gone for a bank. He's gone for triple bank, quad bank. Okay, that's interesting. I've never actually played with the banks properly. Uh, so I don't know how that's gonna work for him. I'm gonna send him loads of pinks uh, just for our eco. Um, but I'm not I'm not gonna send them. I'm not gonna send them through I'm gonna give him a thumbs up just so he so he knows that I'm not I'm not going for the kill There we go. There we go. Okay, nice uh, There we go get our eco up. What are we on? We're on 21,000 already So we are making bear pee up in here. Okay, let's uh, get all these up to long life long life long life valuable bananas valuable bananas valuable bananas I'm just gonna make sure though, we've gotta to remember to upgrade our defense as well. But that's why I brought with me the super monkey. We're just, we're probably gonna be able to get sun gods pretty damn quickly and then upgrade them to temples, hopefully very quickly after that. We will probably have to redo 
all of our money stuff once we get temples. But then we're in for a really good late game treat that should be absolutely awesome. Uh, okay, so that's looking good. I don't know whether to get a bank. Like, no, nah, I'm not going to get a bank. There's no, there's no point getting a bank. I'm going to use one of those boosts and I think I should probably start upgrading my stuff, shouldn't I? I should start, like, trying to get a few things going. So we're going to get temples, so we want to space them out as much as we can. So let's get Laser Sun God. Um, and then... I've, I haven't done this in a while, so I've kind of forgotten how it works with the whole temple thing. But I think it, it eats everything in its path or something like that. So we've got to uh, we've got to make sure that all of the temples are not touching. Okay, like that. Yeah, we're looking all right. We're looking all right. Uh, if you go... You go about there, I'd say. I'd say that's safe. I think that's safe there. I'm gonna get another one. Oh, can I fit you in? I can fit you in just there. Oh my god, we can fit so many in. Let's put you over there as well. You there. Then can I get? I don't know if that one's gonna work. That's the one that I don't think is gonna work. But we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully that should that should be okay. And we don't upgrade the range yet as well. Because obviously if you upgrade the range, you're going to get all the other uh, super monkeys in kind of in, in the zone. So you've got to be careful with that. Uh, right. So we don't need to do... This one's fine. This one might be taken. So I'm just going to get up to Banana Research Fidelity. But it might be taken. Uh, you guys are all good as well. Let's, let's just get everything upgraded. So we're getting full money right now. Uh, which is awesome. And why am I losing stuff? Has he got a cobra somewhere or something really annoying? I think he does. I think he does have a cobra somewhere. And actually, what I'm going to do is at the back here, I'm just going to put a load of uh, summon whirlwinds just in case anything does get through that I'm not expecting. Hopefully, the summon whirlwinds uh, can take him down. So, monkey sense, monkey sense. Summon whirlwinds, summon whirlwinds. There we go. We should... We should be good. We should be good. We should be able to defend uh, against that for quite a while. We're on 93... Thousand, so I'm gonna get some eco as well by sending him loads and loads of pinks uh, But we're gonna be good for quite a while here. So this is gonna be quite a late game uh, Once we get some stuff done, so he's got his first temple He got that really early though like really early. He's got two temples Okay, interesting. I don't know why he's gone for two temples so early Like I personally wouldn't have gone for them. Well, obviously I haven't I personally wouldn't go for them that early uh, but that's what he's gone for. That's what he's gone for. Let's keep on what I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna get myself another banana plant up there. Yes, I can <laughs> Nice Nice, I can't Oh, just about fit one in there Okay, come on. Give me more money. I'm trying to make more money. We, we will catch him up but What I think I do I'll do is I'll sell them all before I upgrade my temple So how much do I need? I need one two three four five six seven Eight, nine. I need like nine hundred. No, I need yeah nine hundred thousand to upgrade them all. But then also I need to upgrade them all to sun gods anyway. Um, so let's let's start getting all these up to sun gods, shall we? Sun god, sun god, sun god. Yeah, I think these are these are all pretty good to go. Like they they look like I've placed them. That's the one that I'm a little bit concerned about. I don't know if that one will. So I'm gonna save off. On that one up there. Uh, camos we should be fine against. Because I've got the summon whirlwinds back down here. So even though that is our one kind of weakness at the moment. We should be all good. Now another thing to do of course is to team up all of your sun gods. With another uh, with another whatever monkey. So we're going to put next to each sun god a specific monkey. And fully upgrade it. So that then when you when you use your temple, you'll obviously get whatever that's doing. So you'll get a whirlwind with that temple, for example. But we're doing really well. We're getting loads and loads of money. I might upgrade my first temple pretty soon. The bottom left one, I think, is going to be my first one that we're going to upgrade. And hopefully that should be good to go. And then once you upgrade them, you can obviously go to epic range and everything because it's not a problem anymore. But let's keep on. I don't know why I'm bothering with this eco because I'm really not making much from eco. But it's better than nothing, I guess. So he's got him... He's got three temples, but he didn't actually... He didn't destroy any banks to get those temples. Or did he? No, he did, didn't he? He sold them all and then kind of restarted it. Ah, okay. Yeah, he did do that. I, I forgot that he did that. Uh, okay. Let's see. So, yeah, like I was saying, so you can see on the right, 
you all well it's that way actually you see on the right that that temple there has actually got uh has, is firing out the whirlwinds as well that's because he must have had his apprentice right there when he upgraded it so that's why it looks pretty crazy okay uh we're up to 500 thousand right here this is so much money and this is gonna make this go so so late game all right let's get this guy upgraded temple of the monkey god the temple demands a heavy price all nearby towers will be sacrificed, enhancing the temple's already pow already amazing powers. So before we do it, actually, I'm going to throw in... I don't know if this guy makes a big difference, but I'm going to put him in there as well, just in case. And I'm going to upgrade him to Glaive Lord, just in case that when you do upgrade him, you might get some extra power. I don't know if you do. Let's go. Yes, there we go. We've got him upgraded. He didn't bring anything else with him. We can go to epic range, and now we are absolutely laughing uh, because I think, I think we're... We're going to have the better the better situation, I'm going to say, on this one. So I'm going to get you upgraded to a Tempest Tornado. Uh, and then this guy here is going to go uh, as well up to a, a Glaive Lord. And then we're just going to sacrifice you. Do it. Yes. Nice. Okay. We've got another one. We have got another one. You as well. Oh, that's actually pretty close. So this might eat another temple. I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't. There we go. Do it. Yeah, there we go. It didn't do it. So we've, we've been able to get another one. Man, this is going to go so late game. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Okay, we've still got 500,000. So we've still got enough to do all of these yet. But if we go through and take them out now, we're obviously going to be destroying some of our, uh, some of our precious money-making buildings. So I'm going to have to sell up. I'm going to have to sell these two right here. So let's sell. Actually, I wonder if... Does, does, it, uh, does a temple make money if you sell or sacrifice a banana plant? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know if that's a thing. I'm going to have to ask the guys at Ninja Kiwi. Uh, but let's, uh, let's throw this in there. Let's throw another one up here as well. Just shove you in just in case. Uh, and get you up to a temple, my friend. Nice. Okay. Epic range. Epic range, yeah, we've all got epic range up here. And I'm also going to do this one over here because this is the one that I'm a little bit nervous about. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous. I can't sell him. I wonder if he's going to be... I hope you're not going to be eaten up, my friend. I really hope. Oh, actually, I just realized I was meant to also throw in a terror. And uh, I think if they eat up a terror as well, they get even more powerful. I, I want to say they do, so let's just see. Oh, no, he just... Ah, he ate that sun god right there. But he actually... He's got pretty good range. I don't know if the terror's made any difference. Uh, but I think it might do. I think I really do think it might do. Uh, okay, so let's do you next. So we need to sell this. Let's get you upgraded, my friend. Actually, uh, what am I doing? I need to get my terror up first. Where is my terror? Uh, there he is. And let's get you up to a terror... And you can now go to a temple. That's going to eat loads of stuff. But it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Okay, so I'm not going to upgrade this upgrade this guy's range just yet. I want to kind of see if there's a difference. This one in the middle as well. Uh, let's upgrade you. And get another Terra. How much money do we have? We've still got 500,000. So we're, we're, still, we're still doing fine in terms of money. And I've got a lot more temples than my enemy. So I think... We are definitely ahead right now. So if I fit another one in here... Oh, that's so close to taking them out. I'm not going to do it just in case. I, I can fill that up with loads of other stuff instead anyway. So let's sell you. Let's sell you. And let's sell you. And then we're going to put, obviously, another apprentice in there. And put another technological terror up here. Sell that. And there we go. We have got, I think, pretty much the max amount of uh, of temples. Unless I could fit... If I were able to put one down here. I could probably... Actually, no. I could probably get one more, I think. Let's see if we can get one more. Yeah, we can get one more down here. So let's put you in there. Let's put you there. And get another technological terror. I'm not making any money at the moment. So I've got to be careful. Uh, I've got to be careful with that, obviously. But we should... We should be okay. There we go. Nice. Oh, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I'm going to set those middle ones to strongest. All the rest are going to first. And now we're going to have to build up our economy again. Uh, but it's not going to be too bad this time, obviously, because we've still got a lot of money. Uh, so we're going to be fine. 
Put you there, you there. Can I fit another one there? Yes, we can. Okay, put you there. And where can these go? Oh, that can go all the way up there. But I need to upgrade that while I remember that, it, that it's all the way hidden up at the top. Um, put you... If I put you on this side, then in the middle, I've got to try and find where the farmer can... Oh, the farmer can go right there. And then hopefully... Can I fit one more in here? Yes! Oh, we're going to be making so much money still. This is going to be awesome. And let's get you upgraded. You upgraded. And you upgraded. Holy heck. This is a lot of money. He's got a lot of terrors, but he's only got three temples. Whereas I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got way, way more terrors than this guy. Um, sorry, terrors. I've got way more temples, but he's got more terrors. So we're going to see, uh, going to see what kind of works better. I'm pretty sure that mine should work a lot better. But I also want to make a load of money. I don't know why, but we just want to keep on getting our money up. Uh, wait, where's this farmer? Where can this farmer go? Let's put this farmer right in the middle there. Okay, cool. So that's looking pretty damn neat. That's looking really neat. Uh, and we should... I'm going to get a couple of Tempest. You never know when a Tempest is going to be useful. So I'm going to get a Tempest Tornado at the bottom. Uh, actually, let's get like two of them. Let's get two of them. Just in case a lot of them come through. Do, 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 do. And let's go for... Where's this middle lane? Ah, it's so hard to see as well. Okay, so there's the middle lane. So we could get all of these down here. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Can this not fit? Oh, I can't. It can just... It can just about fit. Just about fit. You in there as well. You in... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, there we go. You in there. Holy heck. This is going to be so powerful for late game. I'm surprised this guy's still going. I would have thought he would have, like, surrendered by now because this is quite obvious who's going to win. Um, nice. This is looking really good, though. Looking really good. Can I put any more in here? I can put one. It said I could put one, like, here somewhere. There it is. We can put one there. Put one. Oh, here's our first Zeppelin. Look at the money coming in as well when the first Zeppelin appears. Wow, that is crazy. And let's just fill all of these spaces up with terrors. So is he? he's not filled his spaces up with terrors yet. So I guess that's what he's going to be doing. He's still got the banks, though. It's an interesting strategy, the banks. There was a space somewhere up here. Uh, and there's loads of space up here for it. So we can put a few of them up the top corner. Okay, that looks pretty damn lit. That, I think that's actually full as well at the moment. I think we're full. Or we've got a few gaps in between. No, not there. Yeah, we've only got a couple of gaps that we can fill up. So there we go. So let's get these all up to Terra's. And then let's just leave it and see how late game we can go. There we go. He's actually just lost. I didn't realize that he was going to go down there that quickly. I don't even know what round we got to. It was like 56 or something. But he lost at the end there. Didn't go as late game as I expected. I expected to go into like the 80s there. But I think uh, it was quite obvious we were going to win. Anyway, guys, there is the banana farmer monkey guy uh, that I was meant to be showing you. It just turned into an epic late game battle. Let me know down below what you think about it. Uh, hit the like button as well. Until next time, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Peace out.